morning. I haven't been live forever. And I'm going to say, I don't know if I've missed it. I kind of enjoy my mornings that are just for me. That I don't um, have to, to have a plan. I don't have to... Um, I don't have to think about what you might want. It's just about me. It's just about me. But here's the thing is I love this so much too, right? Um, like this has been one of the ways that I have become the person that I am. Hey, Lori, how are you? Um, and I am I'm excited for the new year. What do you guys hope for the new year? Um, I feel like my life is changing and I feel like it's going to look different and, I, and in my mind I like to think good morning Kathy and, and in my mind I like to think I know where oh wait, get that away okay uh still laying in bed wow 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 uh and it's late there it's an hour later there um but um been thinking about all the ways that I want my life to look different next year versus this year and then I think I know that just when I have a plan God's gonna be like <laughs> no and do something different and it's gonna be amazing and then it's gonna be more than I even dreamed and I am so looking forward to that um, you guys I forgot that the stay matte foundation was even a thing and it's on sale today until noon central standard of time um, but here's the thing is, you know what I thought? Um, I buy so many things on sale and then it's so disappointing when I can't really buy them again because they're so expensive. That's not really the case with this. This is on sale for $9 and 90 cents. It's an amazing foundation. Like literally I feel like the tax and shipping is like <laughs> getting close to that. Right. Um, but, but I have it on my lips. After it's not on sale, it's still only twelve ninety. So yeah, there's that. But um, so twenty twenty one is over, and as I think about it, I'm like, am I super proud of it? Did I accomplish the things that I wanted? And I'm like, no, no. Twenty twenty one was the year that I've wanted to give up on everything. Um, the year that was really really difficult for me, um, emotionally. Um, and just all the things, it was just a lot. Does anyone feel like that? Or is it just me that literally I, okay. um, I feel like everything was just really freaking hard. Um, and I know I'm the person that will gladly tell you that life is really difficult. It's always going to be difficult. It is never going to be like this piece of cake, easy peasy life, right? It is not that. Um, being a girl is really hard. Um, being a wife is really hard. Being a mom is really, really hard. 2020 was really hard, but I think it was so hard I've blocked it out. <laughs> like, I think I cried so much during that year. I have completely and utterly blocked it out and just put my walls up against the memories um, to 2020. Um, so then 2021 comes and I'm trying to heal from 2020, right? And it's literally not happening. <laughs> this year was a challenge, but I, um, I do feel like I definitely grew and changed in a lot of ways. And I'm trying not to just cry all the way through this, but um, I feel like I, this year would not have, like every year I feel like there's like a word and like sometimes I can see it at the beginning and I like declare it and I want it and all the things. And then some years I'm like, I see it at the end like, oh, that's what you wanted for me, right? Um, can you get a break? <laughs> right? Right. And, and I feel like maybe I'm not even quite there. Um, but I still feel like it just sucked, right? So I feel like... Um, my word for this past year, and I didn't know it, was forgiveness um, of myself, of others. And that forgiveness looked different for so many um, things in my life. 
like some of it meant that I had to like just bless and release and some meant that I had to like swallow pride and like embrace it and all of those things whether you decide to let go or embrace is really really hard right um and and there was so much forgiveness for myself because you just can't even imagine how many times and I'm not sure why this is and sometimes I think if like more than one person tells you something, it probably is true. But like, as I reflect, there is like a lot of times that people have told me I'm a terrible person. <laughs> like, I am not a terrible person, right? <sighs> yeah. Um, I think people will just wait for you to break down and turn into a crazy person. But, so, I, I feel like I've had to this year kind of forgive myself. Um, for whatever it is that I have done that has upset people in such a way that they think I'm a terrible person, when really I just can't see that. But I think that we can't, right? We can't see our own flaws, right? I, I don't know. But I think, oh, you guys have just thought, I am doing, I'm going to sit right by my coffee, touching my coffee, and I'm not going to forget it. That's my whole thing. Um, but so I felt like I had to just forgive myself a lot because... I think that some people in my life that are not um, not healthy for me um, and then decide that I'm a terrible person, um, I just have to forgive myself for them, right? Because I just, I just can't keep thinking and wondering what I can do to be better for other people when one, they don't want to be better for themselves. That's a harsh reality. And two, I just need to work on being better for myself, right? I mean, that's the reality of this, right? So, 2022, when I think about, I usually do, um, I don't know, pitch, that's hilarious. I forgot primer. We'll see how my uh, foundation looks later because there's no way I can redo it. Let's just, extra little settings, right? We'll be fine. Um, but I feel like I'm a pretty decent person and I do a lot of things for a lot of people who literally will never do a thing for me. And, and I don't do things for people because I want them to do something for me. Um, but I literally, I, I don't know. Life is just weird, right? People are weird. Um, I am weird. All, all things are just weird in life. But um, I feel like 2022 needs to be about my family. Um, that is a hard thing to say because I feel like I do not want to start crying. Okay, let's just drink some coffee and calm down for a second. I feel like a lot of times my life is about everyone else. And sometimes I really hate to admit this, but my family comes last. Oh gosh, you guys. Good thing I did the extra settings right. Um... And I think you guys know what I mean. I think I'm not the only person, right? Like, we do all of these things for everyone. Especially because I have a business, right? And, oh, boy, oh, boy. I gotta calm down, y'all. What is even happening in my life? I need to dry out my eyes. <laughs> you guys, this is terrible. It's fine. Everything is going to be fine. This is why I think I haven't done lives here lately, guys, because I am an emotional wreck. We're just going to put the blush over the tears. This is the only thing that I have near me. A friend of mine sent me these little eye makeup removing cloths, which they're amazing and incredible. And she was so sweet to do that. And I just used them for my tears. I'm not sure she would be um, super proud of that. But, um... As I watch um, my business not be as great as it once was, because I know that I'm not putting as much into that, right? Um, because I'm realizing that maybe my family needs me more than what I what I understood. I don't know. And maybe I'm just a crazy person. Now my nose is dirty. Now all the things, you guys. This is a makeup wipe from I don't even know how many days ago. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is going to be fine. 
Oh, you guys, I love you. I love you for being here. I love you for watching me put my highlighter on over here. And I'm really trying hard to get this together, but it's not working. Um, okay, today is a four-day week. I'm finishing up my chronological Bible, um, and I'm super excited about it. This is probably, I was trying to tell my mom how many years I've done it. And I think it's been about, I don't know, five or six times that I, I need to do my brows. If I forget to do my brows, it will literally be the worst day ever. Hey, Lindsay! Um, so let's do those here in just a second, and then we'll finish my eyes. Um, but um, I'm finishing up Eat, Pray, Love. I read that every December because it just encourages me to be an amazing person. The rest, I know, right? What is wrong with me? What is happening? I do not know. It is going to be fine, though. But life is just hard, right? And we know this. We're not surprised by this. You guys, if... Somebody messaged me the other day and was like, hey, have you tried the brow wax? And I was like, um, yes, and it is amazing. You guys, I cannot even stop the tears. And I'm trying hard to think about other things. So I just don't cry on here while I'm trying to do my makeup. But the brow wax is literally so incredible. It like shapes them. And look how much fuller they look. And I honestly haven't been using the... Um, Lash Brow Serum, which I used to use all the time, and then I kind of fell off doing it, but. So, anyways, what do you guys want? My thing broke. Of course it did. This is literally the very definition of 2021 for me. Broken. But, um, 2022, I really just want to be about my family. And we are working hard and making plans to move. Um, we really want to be in Colorado. We really want all of our kids to come with us. And I think that only the youngest is going to. Which is really hard. But my children don't want to venture across the country. Not even across the country. It's like across one state. But it's like the longest state ever, right? <laughs> you bust my nose. Yeah, right? I don't even know. It's the weirdest thing ever. This one always, this one broke, it, and I've had, but I've had it for like, this is my first one that I ever bought from them, and so it's like almost two years old. Um, but the other thing, my setting powder, for some reason, I don't know what happens, if I just am rough with it or what, but, so we went to move to Colorado this year, and I'm super excited. Lucy was going to go with us. She actually applied for college out there, and she has decided that she is just not ready for that kind of change. She is going to get an apartment, and start college here in the fall. So I'm really excited for her, but we are really disappointed that she's not going, of course, because we want our children there with us. And then, um, not certain about Brittany or Stella. <laughs> the pressed powder always break. I'm too bad. Well, uh, my setting powder, I think I, um, dropped. And then I was like, oh, I'm just getting a new one. It's fine. And then, like, I was literally taking it out of the package, and it dropped on my table, and I was like, this isn't going to last long. And it was literally, like, a week later, and I was like, mm, yeah, I knew that was coming. So, um, we want to move. We're really hoping between somewhere between March and May. Um, and the timeline is dependent on Kyle's job because he has a really, really good job right now. But the job itself will end. Um, and he'll still work for the same company, but he will have to change jobs. Um, and it won't pay as much. And the job right now that he's on puts a lot of money into a 401k. That he can tap into when he's not there. So that ensures that we can move and do all the things we want. So now we're deciding... Because we thought that several kids would go with us. And now we're kind of looking at it like, I think only one will, right? So now we can't decide if we want to sell our camper and get a bigger camper and do camper living for a while until we decide on a location in a school. 
for Dryden, and he is literally so excited. It's almost kind of crazy um, that he is ready to, for change. Um, he is a little disappointed that Lucy's not going, um, but um, he still claims that he does definitely want to go, which this is all of our decisions have really been, and, and I know this is kind of crazy, um, but all of our decisions have kind of been based on what Dryden is ready for and what Dryden wants because um, he is the child that um, is left at home and still in school. And we don't want, Kyle and I moved a lot and changed schools a lot, and we don't want that for Dryden if that's not something that he wants. So we've had a lot of conversations over the last year with him on whether or not he wants this change. Because if he did not, Kyle and I would wait four years and then do it after he graduated high school. And then he could go live with his sisters or something. I don't know. But um, he's really excited and he really wants to go. And it's, it's exciting. But it's also hard to leave my other children behind, I feel like. So that's difficult. But I'm very, very excited because Kyle and I have wanted to do this for a while. You've heard us talking about it for a while. And I'm super excited that it seems like it's finally maybe going to happen. I don't know. We're going to see. But I've really got to start cleaning out my house because we have a four-bedroom, two-bath house. And we're looking at either moving into the camper or getting, like, a two-bedroom apartment. I want literally zero maintenance. I don't want to mow a yard. I don't, I, I, I don't want to shovel snow. I don't want to do any of it. I've done it for far too long. We have um, a bigger house with a ginormous yard and no one really likes to mow but me. And I don't mind it except for the fact that I work full time and I commute, you know, like hour and a half minimum a day and that's with no traffic. So when I get home, I just really don't want to do it. And I don't want to spend my weekends working outside. So I don't know. I, I just don't know. But um, so we've given all of the kids until January 1st to tell us for sure or not, whether or not they want to go with us so that we can decide, um, if we want to attempt some camper living or if we want to, um, just get an apartment or if too many are going, we need to get a house. So something else super exciting that's coming up, you guys, is Kyle and I will be married 13 years in January and... January 16th. I'm going to keep saying that because one year I planned a trip for him for our 10 year anniversary and I planned it for the wrong day because I honestly with my whole heart thought our anniversary was January 10th. I have no idea why I thought that but I did and yeah. He had to inform me otherwise then I couldn't really change our trip at that time. Like I had already taken off work. I had already communicated with his work to take off work. Yeah. So we are going to do a little trip a little road trip out back out to Colorado in the expedition and we are going to stay in the expedition um, because we want to stay in several different places we want it to be as cheap as possible so that we're still saving money for our move and I'm really excited because we always say like we want to do the van life thing or the bus life thing or the camper living and this will be maybe like a small step towards that I don't know but I'm pretty excited about it and that will be happening in January so I cannot wait to like take you guys along on that journey with me. Um, I know that I'm not posting as much on social media but um, I'm trying to live my life and I'm trying to be present for my family. Okay, I'm not going to cry anymore. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm going to get off here so I can go blow my nose and put on my wig and I'll put a final picture in the comments but um, I love you guys and thank you guys for just being here on this journey with me. Because I know that I cry a lot and it's really sad. So <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'm going to try to see you more this week. But I'm going to try not to cry the whole time. So if there's something that you want to learn makeup wise or if there's something you want to hear about my life, I'm not opposed to just chatting or I'm not opposed to teaching you some new skills. So um, literally stay matte today with the peach palette and you get this. Okay. So I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye.